Hi guys and welcome back. We're just right here to trade together. And I'm going to show you today a little bit like a five different situations and we're going to use some some strategy and I'm going to tell you more about that a little bit later. We are starting as always just with the all setups, with the currency pairs, with the biggest payouts, with the candles and today it's going to be 30 seconds. And the strategy gonna be based on Arun and CCI. And actually, if CCI is quite famous, popular, and for most of the traders, kind of favorite indicator, Arun is not that frequently used, actually. So we are just ending all of that periods, thickness, colors, styles, all of that. Just finish our basis strategy and here we are and uh, it's going to be two indicators today that are allocated below the chart and in some cases it's a bit complicated because we need to manage actually three points of view the chart the indicators the chart of indicators so actually there's some some tricky stuff on it and this is how it's gonna be looking all of that for us today and I want you to tell even if you have some question about indicator if it's in just unfamiliar to you please just check how it is repeating or not repeating the chart that we are having and with the Arun even if you look at that lines and just what is going on over here you can check you can perfectly see that this blue line actually quite repeating what we are just having and locating on the chart and it actually a little bit look alike as a CCI line too. So this is our lines today and this is our just the first transition to the first bet. Let's start. And this is it. This is actually quite a classy situation when we are just taxing the combination of this two indicators showing us we gonna be just fall and we're gonna be catching the tendency and the downward tendency so I made my bet for a downward for a lower movement for the lower tendency and just check what we have as a CCI and it's the rune and CCI is showing us we're getting a little bit more flat because CCI is just catching all the tiny difference you know all the tiny frequently all these tiny 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 moves of the candles and uh, with this Arun it doesn't work like that it's more stable more for the tendencies and it's just detecting the big changes so that's why this combination may actually be quite stable and reliable so here we are we just have a few seconds left where we can find our first profit and that's it that was the correct combination and it gave us the correct so one more this is gonna be our bet and this is gonna be our bet too so look at that look at the CCI it's just showing us we're getting upward look at the Arun it is showing us and we are on the blue line mostly showing us that we are just in the bottom and of course there is maybe some space that we get in downward but together with this flat line of the room just at the bottom and the rising line of the cci this is actually the sign we're gonna get for some upward trend and of course the whole chart is actually giving us the same impression so we were just falling we were just drastically falling and at some point we are on the stage i've been telling you about that that is quite useful of course this is not the stage is not like you know in the candles you may see some flat position but it's just like you may see that the level of all candles are a little bit quite the same and we are just right here this is the situation that we call the high volatility situation sometimes it's quite a long one we had us as a profit but sometimes it's quite a short one and give us impression and give us just the understanding that it's going to be the trend of the trend sometimes of course it doesn't mean that it's going to be changing but when all indicators give us that impression and this stage may help us to predict that we have this time you know and timing and stuff that it's going to be changing and this one i think we just maybe in the beginning maybe a little bit already in the middle it depends on how long this trend are gonna be 
But anyway, we may see with all these two lines that it's going to be the fall. And I hope it's going to be drastic. It's going to be enough just to have all these two bets as a profit in the end. And just want to skip, you know, this moment just because it's quite visible, quite perfectly, perfectly visible. And this chart is giving us that impression without any, you know, specific, specific indicators. And look at that, especially look at that crossing of the Arun. And I want you just to check the latest crossing of the Arun. If it actually matters anything, what this crossing actually means, what actually is the tactic. And you may see that a lot of the changing of the trend happen actually without any crossing of the line. So don't think that MACD or any other indicators with that lines, you know, some accelerators and stuff are actually, you know, the same works on the same principle. It's based on the same principle. It's not like that. And the crossing here with the Arun, it's not the same thing. So here, look at that. Arun is a little bit flat. CCI is a little bit flat. But all of these two indicators are allocated in the higher part, especially our showing us that. And CCI is still already just crossed the upper line of it because this is just, you know, like the middle, like a moving, moving average chart. So we do expect it's going to be some breaking downward. Let's see what it's going to be in the end for us. So just as I told you, of course, that's not a drastic one, it's not that obvious one. And uh, actually, this is just why all the indicators were flat in the beginning and CCI is still flat. So we may see that the tendency was correct and the result was correct, but to hope that it's going to be some big, big fall, not that situation. But you may see what happening still, what happening here just with the room, how it is actually changing in some doubt. So that's why in solo, this indicator, not the perfect one. So the last one, I do think that this strategy is okay, that it's quite reliable and working. And uh, look at that, all my, all my money almost that I just had with these six bats for this downward movement. And look at that, we still have some space in both of the cases on the charts of the indicators that we gonna be fall and we're gonna be fall maybe for some, some period because we were at the highest position. And uh, not the highest of all chart, but you may see how these chart are just moving. And please, I want to just, uh, I just want to point it out again and again, just match how the indicators repeat in the whole chart. And still, if there is anything unclear regarding this exact strategy or regarding the binary options or any strategies or any, I don't know, theories, <laughs> basis of it and the meaning of it you can find me you can text me because i am here just to help you i give the signals to trade together and we finished with all these bets as a profit and i'm just trying to help as much as i can because you know the market is a god and nobody can actually manage that nobody can predict what's gonna be happening and that's the beauty of it and that's the risk of it so being a professional trader it's to lose but to win in the end it's when you just cover the losers so this was the end and we just finished we just done i hope you like that and if you do just press the button to follow i don't know to subscribe to give me some likes and any feedbacks just welcome so we're done